The next, Hype the Beast from the Brunt of Latafa, Art of Nature 2 and Teriyaki Intense. Let's check them out. Hello friends, I'm George, the nice smelling gentleman. Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope that all of you are doing well. It's time for your daily dose of some fragrance content and for today, as I said, uh, I've prepared a video where I'm going to share with you my initial impressions about two brand new releases from the brand of Latafa, Teriyak Intense, especially this one has just absolutely recently released uh, like a week ago. And the other one is Art of Nature 2, which has been around for about a month or so, but is still uh, quite new to the markets. And so today I've prepared my initial impressions on both fragrances. And the first one that I'm going to talk about will be Art of Nature 2. Now, I'm not going to go uh, too much into details about the packaging and bottle design. I'll save that for the full review of both fragrances, but just a quick look at the packaging. Now, Art of Nature 2 is part of the Latafa Pride series, uh, so uh, basically you're getting uh, quite a uh, luxurious uh, presentation. You get an outside box that looks like this, then you get this inside box that is made out of uh, very uh, sort of a thick plastic. It opens up like this and somewhere inside the packaging you also find a little leaflet that contains you know quick uh, information about uh, all the other members uh, current members of the Latafa pride line and this is a very quick look at the bottle design of uh, art of nature 2 it's very similar to art of nature 1 as well which uh, i know some people uh, find it uh, this kind of uh, bottle design to be very nice looking other thing that it's a little bit too much or over the top i'm you know somewhere in the middle the side parts as you can see are transparent so you can check out the juice uh, the level of your juice uh, the cap is plastic uh, and the whole bottle has quite a bit of heft now art of nature 2 is uh, heavily hyped up as being a great clone of parfum de marley's altair and i can straight up tell you that this indeed smells like altair but doesn't feel super super close uh, to the original fragrance first of all this is the sprayer in action it's a decent sprayer I've uh, already been wearing this one today and uh, yesterday because I got both fragrances delivered yesterday so basically I've had them for slightly over 24 hours and uh, onto the scent itself this again it feels uh, very similar to Altair it opens up uh, quite spicy there's a strong cinnamon note with this fragrance there's uh, quite a bit of vanillic sweetness immediately after you spray uh, the, the fragrance itself there's some cardamom but also this feels uh, quite a bit fruity uh, there's a bit of a mandarin note in here, there's maybe some bergamot which adds a bit of freshness and there's uh, an apple note, a green apple note in this fragrance which gives this one a little bit more of a fresher opening compared to Altair, at least from uh, you know my brand new bottle. But you also get quite a bit of that sweetness, uh, vanillic sweetness and the cinnamon spiciness with some cardamom spiciness. And on the dry down what, this happens, what happens with this fragrance is that it becomes a little bit uh, woody. The, you know that uh, strong vanilla note gets even stronger and it's uh, a bit musky as well it's again smells uh, very similar to Altair but at the same time feels a little bit different to my nose this opens up slightly fresher than Altair maybe slightly uh, less spicy than Altair and uh, also lacks a bit of the sweetness in the opening and in the early dry down as well and in the dry down but in the air smells quite quite similar to uh, Altair. Now I won't be able to talk about performance at this kind at this point of time because uh, as I said I've got I've had this for a little bit over 24 hours. I've given it one wear so far, full wear, and I can definitely tell you that this is a good uh, you know per performing fragrance. Probably at my first wearing this gave me around about uh, seven and a half to eight hours of performance, which is really nice uh, for a first wearing. But uh, the projection seems to be slightly softer than the original fragrance. But again, I'm going to reserve my opinion on the full performance of this fragrance for my full review. But Art of Nature 2 definitely smells very nice in the air, very pleasant and definitely smells very similar to Parfum de Marley's Altair. And now let's take a look at the other fragrance featured in today's video, the brand new release from a Latafa, which is called the Teriyaki Intense. This is the box that the fragrance comes packaged in. Just a very quick look. Uh, you get this outer sleeve uh, first of all that you need to take apart and uh, take off. And once you do that, uh, 
this is how you open up the actual box and the fragrance sits inside and then this is the way that the actual bottle looks very similar bottle design to the original teriyak fragrance but this coming in a darker colors with a sort of a black accents again you got this snake figurine that goes around the cap the cap is plastic but it's a very snug fit on the bottom we have some additional information let me show you quickly the spray in action of teriyak intense and then i'll talk about the scent itself i've been wearing this one already today the sprayer is a little bit iffy in my opinion sometimes it doesn't uh, put uh, too much juice out and on to the scent itself now first of all this fragrance of course is created by quentin bish uh, probably the most uh, popular uh, you know perfumer right now you know, people are talking a lot about uh, his uh, recent uh, work in the past few years he's created a lot of great scents and now he's working with Latafa as well I think the original Teriyaka uh, it was his first creation for Latafa and now he's uh, done the intense flanker first of all does this smell like the original Teriyak no not at all second of all does this smell is this a clone of anything at least uh, in my experience from what i've tried uh, from what i've put my nose on this is not a clone of anything it does smell like something very famous in a way but it, it definitely doesn't feel like a clone Fra the fragrance itself opens up slightly fresh and quite a bit spicy there's a strong saffron uh, note with this fragrance you get some, a hint of some bergamot freshness but you're immediately hit with quite a bit of sweetness first of all there's a plum note that feels a very very sweet and then there's also a plum liquor note which adds more sweetness and at the same time adds uh, that boozy feel that this fragrance has there's a strong cinnamon note with this one as well and uh, there's also quite a bit of sweetness but it's not overly sweet the opening will remind you, at least some people, me included, will remind you of uh, Killian's Angel Share. But again, this is not a clone of Angel Share. Doesn't smell similar to Angel Share. This feels uh, more spicy than Angel Share. This smells more, smells more fruity than Angel Share. This smells uh, less sweet than Angel Share. And the uh, boozy note in here is quite different. That plum liquor note is quite different from the cognac note that you get out of uh, Angel Share. But definitely this lives in the same space. Uh, it comes from the same family of scents like uh, Angel Share. But again, definitely not a clone of Angel Share. On the dry down you lose some of that booziness, you lose some of the spiciness, although there's still a bit of spiciness. The fragrance becomes a little bit sweeter, there's some amber sweetness on the dry down, some tonka bean sweetness, some benzoin, maybe a hint of sort of an earthiness, maybe like a patchouli note or something like that, I'm not too sure. But again it smells very very pleasant, very very warm very sweet and uh, very cozy again on the dry down will remind you a little bit of angel share but on the dry down this goes even more further away compared to angel share but again it's part of the same family of scents all around it's a very very nice fragrance in my opinion that smells perfectly unisex and of a very high quality performance wise again i'm not going to talk too much about too much about performance because this is my second wearing of this fragrance but my first wearing gave me quite uh, a good performance uh, i'm talking about nine hours maybe even over nine hours but one area again where this doesn't shine that much is the projection because this seems to be a little bit more on the softer side when it comes to projection but total longevity on skin at least on my skin for my first wearing uh, was a very very nice again a very nice uh, fragrance from latafa that's great for the cold season and at the end a few final words about uh, art of nature 2 and teriyak intense Art of Nature 2 does indeed, indeed feel like a, a very nice clone of Parfum de Marlis Altair, but with a bit of a twist. This to my nose smells, smells a little bit more fruity, smells a little bit fresher, a little bit less spicy and a little bit less sweet than Altair. And I know people are going to ask uh, about a comparison between this one and Liquid Brun. Now, it's too early because, again, I've had this only for about two days, but uh, to my nose, Liquid Brun, at least from my initial impressions, uh, after some maceration definitely smells a little bit closer to uh, Altair it's a little bit sweeter a little bit more spicy now I'm going to put it that way if I have to compare uh, you know how I find uh, Art of Nature to 
on my second day of owning this fragrance versus how I liked Liquid Brune on the second day of owning that fragrance, I will tell you that right now, out of the box, uh, Art of Nature 2 actually smells better than what I was uh, thinking about Liquid Brune when I first got it. But after some maceration, uh, the other way to put it, that you know, Liquid Brune after two months smells better than uh, Art of Nature 2, also performs better. But again, it has it has had uh, two months of uh, time to sit around, to macerate, to mature. So at this point in time, uh, I really like Art of Nature 2, but I also uh, sort of hope that with a bit of uh, sitting around and a bit of maceration, this will become a little bit stronger, a little bit denser and sweeter and will also improve its performance. When it comes to Teriac Intense, a very, very nice fragrance, a very nice work from Mr. Quentin Bish. A very interesting unisex fragrance that smells nice, smells boozy, smells cozy, very warming and very addictive even and it's a perfectly unisex scent that's great for the cold weather. Perfectly uh, balanced scent that has a bit of booziness, some spiciness, quite a bit of sweetness. Uh, again perfectly unisex and the quality here is superb. Also at least uh, when it comes to total longevity right out of the box this seems to be a very long lasting scent. It's a little bit more moderate when it comes to projection but the total longevity seems to be great and I really hope that this will improve even further with a bit of maceration. All around I really do think that Latafa have done a great job with both Art of Nature 2 and Latafa Teriac Intense. So guys, in today's video I shared with you my initial thoughts, uh, my first look at Art of Nature 2 and Teriac Intense from the brand of Latafa. Probably two of the next fragrances that will get uh, a lot of hype in the upcoming months. I hope that you found this video interesting, if you did give it a like and I also hope that you're going to join me tomorrow for your daily dose of some fragrance content. And until then, stay safe and bye bye.